Okay, in this video, we're going to study how to combine two inequalities. So when there are two inequalities, there are two ways to combine them. Uh, either we use or, or we use and. In this first example, two inequalities are combined with or. In the next example, we're going to see an example of inequalities combined with and. So in this first example, we are using or. Uh, if two inequalities are combined with or, then any value of x satisfying either the first inequality or any value satisfying the second inequality, they are all solutions of these compound inequalities. So let's solve this problem. We can solve the first inequality by dividing both sides by 3, and we get x less than negative 1. And if we subtract 1 from both sides of the second inequality, uh, we get x greater than or equal to 4. We can draw the solutions on the number line. The solutions of the first inequality is the solutions less than negative 1. And the solutions of the second inequality are uh, the numbers greater than or equal to 4. Now, if two inequalities are combined with or, we take union of two solution sets. So, uh, the interval on the left-hand side is from negative infinity to negative 1. Then we take union with uh, the interval on the right-hand side, from 4 to infinity. So two intervals together, uh, they, make, they make this solution set. Okay, here is the second example. We have inequality is connected with and. For this type of inequality, uh, a solution must be a number satisfying both inequalities. If it satisfies just one of them, it's not a solution. So let's uh, solve the first inequality. Let's figure out which numbers satisfy the first inequality. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 2. Because we are dividing by a negative number, we have to change the direction of the inequality. And we have x greater than uh, 2. For the second inequality, we subtract 5, and we have x less than 7. Okay, now let's draw the solutions on the number line. x greater than 2, uh, those are the numbers on the right side of 2. And x less than 7, uh, those are the numbers uh, on the left-hand side of 7. Now, we take the intersection, if the, the connective is and, we take intersection of two solutions. Because the, the intersection is basically the, the common area of two intervals. Uh, in this case, this, the interval between 2 and 7. And the numbers between 2 and 7 satisfy both inequalities, so they are the solutions. In interval notation, we write it as parenthesis 2, 7. Okay, here we have another example. Uh, this is a uh, uh, two inequalities connected with and. And you see this is a shorthand form. So 3 less than or equal to negative 2x plus 1. This is one of the inequalities. And negative 2x plus 1 less than or equal to 7. And this is another inequality. And these two are connected with and. And and is hidden in this form. Now we can solve these two inequalities at the same time. So here is how we do it. We subtract 1 from everything. Then we have 2 less than or equal to negative 2x less than or equal to 6. And then divide everything by negative 2. Because negative 2 is a negative number, we have to change the direction of inequalities. And we've got negative 1, x, and negative 3. Now it's more convenient to read this backward. Let's rewrite everything uh, backward. And negative 3 is less than or equal to x, less than or equal to x, and less than or equal to negative 1. So in interval notation, the solution is uh, bracket negative 3, comma negative 1, and bracket. 